Windows 11 looks sleek and runs better than older versions, but it's far from perfect. Many users have voiced their frustrations, especially on social media and tech sites. Here are the 10 most common complaints. About Windows 11, 1. Not all computers can run Windows 11. When Windows 11 was released, many people realized their current PCs didn't meet the system requirements. Microsoft seems more interested in selling new computers with Windows 11 rather than letting people upgrade their existing ones. 2. Changing default apps is too complicated. Setting a default app, like choosing Chrome as your main browser, is way harder than it should be. Instead of a simple switch, you have to manually assign each file type, like JPG, PNG, etc., to a specific app. Microsoft has made improvements, but it's still more difficult than necessary. 3. You need a Microsoft account to set it up, CEE. To install Windows 11, especially the home version, you must sign in with a Microsoft account. While this helps with syncing settings, OneDrive backups, and security, many people don't like being forced to do it. The good news is that once setup is complete, you don't need to stay signed in, and there are ways to bypass it. 4. The new Start menu isn't as good as before. Windows 11 redesigned the Start menu, and not everyone is happy. Unlike Windows 10, which had a highly customizable and useful Start menu, the new one feels more basic and cluttered. Luckily, you can tweak some settings to make it feel more like the old one. 5. The taskbar is less user-friendly. The taskbar in Windows 11 is centered by default, but the Start button isn't always in the same place. It shifts when you open more apps. Fortunately, you can change the settings to align it to the left like in older versions. 6. Microsoft pushes you to use Edge. Some features in Windows 11, like built-in search and widgets, open in Microsoft Edge. Even if you've set another browser as default, while you can still use any browser you want, Microsoft makes it harder to completely avoid Edge. 7. The Action Center is gone, and the new system is worse. Windows 10 had an easy-to-use Action Center where you could quickly adjust settings like Wi-Fi, sound, and battery. In Windows 11, these functions are split into separate menus, making them harder to access. 8. Tablet mode isn't as good anymore. If you used Windows 10 on a touchscreen device like a Surface, you might notice that tablet-friendly features, like swiping from the edges to access key functions, are gone. Windows 11 introduces new gestures, but they don't work as well. 9. You still need extra antivirus protection. Windows 11 includes Microsoft Defender for security, but experts say it's not strong enough on its own. To stay fully protected from viruses and hackers, you'll still need third-party antivirus software. 10. Windows 11 lacks innovation. Windows 11 doesn't introduce many groundbreaking features. Unlike Windows 8, which, despite its flaws, tried something new, Windows 11 mostly copies elements from Mac OS and Chrome OS rather than bringing fresh ideas to the table. The bright side. Despite these issues, Windows 11 does have some great features, like a cleaner design, improved window management, snap layouts, better support for Android apps, and new AI-powered tools. If Microsoft continues improving it, Windows 11 could become a fantastic OS.